what's your earliest, earliest memory of Jarvis? Uh, him being in the Hallamshire pub, a, a pub you only used to go to in Sheffield on West Street, and I think he'd just been to London and he was trying to pick some postcards. And uh, I thought he was a real show. Sure. What's the background on the Michael Jackson story? Uh, it was, well, it's probably a bit of a case of boredom. And uh, well, it, it was just me and Pete and Joe sitting there watching it. And I think Pete, you know, Pete and boyfriend, he went up on stage as well. He, I was sitting with Joe as we were watching it, and Joe had seen Michael Jackson rehearse and said, oh, it's rubbish, you know, it's really bad what he does, you want to watch it. So I was sitting there, I was watching it. And then my boyfriend came and there's a, there was this massive kind of documentary thing on Michael Jackson before all his songs were on it. And Pete started dancing, doing all this mad dancing in this really posh room with massive tables and people in jackets and that. And Pete was dancing like throwing himself on the floor and doing moonwalking and all this kind of thing. And it was just quite funny. I thought we wouldn't get chucked out actually because you know no one else was doing anything like that at all. And then Jarvis said, oh, I'm going to go on stage. I think. Because it was, it was just possible to do it, there was no bounces or anything. Everyone was thinking it was pretty crap what Michael Jackson was doing anyway, he said he was the king of the pop. So I said, oh yeah, go on. He said I was, uh, he said I was, he said I was daring him to do it. I thought I was encouraging him to do it, but I, I can't remember. But I did think it would be a laugh, and I said, I think I might have said, oh, I bet you're not going to do it, are you? Because he kind of said it and didn't do anything. And I said, Pete will go with you, because Pete was in quite a wild mood. And then Jarvis stood up, and then I knew they were going to do it, and it just went up, and then our bodyguard followed them, and I thought, oh, God, I... He didn't stop them, and he didn't, he just let them go and do it. And it only lasted a couple of minutes. Yeah, there was just like one little freeze frame yeah. of fire you know, that was in the paper. Yeah, but it was just so funny. I didn't even end up watching Michael Jackson, so I watched them, and then when they came back off, I was just laughing, and then loads of reporters came up to Jarvis, and he said, oh, I'm not going to tell them why I did it. I, it was, you know, but then, of course, it wasn't that simple in the end. Yeah. Um,